How do your own personal desires get taken into account? Like if you want to be the WWE champion, but the office doesn't agree, how do you, how does one navigate that? <laughs> that's uh, that's tough because you know if if you believe in, and I think that every superstar in WWE believes that they should or want to be WWE champion. That's the goal of every superstar. If it's not your goal, you shouldn't be a WWE superstar. You have to have that mindset at all times. If, you know, you know, it's not going in your direction, it is your job to make sure that it goes in your direction. Right now, I am fighting each and every time I go out into the WWE ring to make sure that I am worthy of a WWE championship shot. Mm. And if people don't believe it, then I it's my job to make sure that I make sure people believe it. Mm. And it starts with the fans. The fans start believing that you are worthy of the WWE title. Then guess what? Everyone else is going to start believing and everyone else is going to start coming around. And it's your job to do everything you can to make sure that happens. And All if right. it doesn't, I always blame you. I always blame me. I, I, that's just how I am. Yeah. What are you doing uh, when you're not on camera to, to maintain that? that uh, I mean, that... okay, I'll give you a for instance. Uh, John Morrison and myself uh, decided that, uh, you know, we were going to write a rap. Now, <laughs> I am not a rapper by any means whatsoever. But John Morrison and I were driving in a car. We were having a four-hour drive. And we were like, you know what? We should write a rap and see if we can get a beat and see then we can do a music video and this could be a whole thing Damn. leading up to wrestlemania <laughs> nice. so literally we we started doing uh rhymes we started doing bars as they call them <laughs> and in the rap world and then we uh then we we asked for a, a beat and wwe gave us a beat and then we went to the, our digital team and said hey can we can you film like a music video for us and they're like well what do you mean i was like i don't know we're just going to start doing the rap and you know do a music video so all leading up to our wrestlemania match we had a rap video basically uh you know talking about the new day talking about the usos talking about how great we are who the new day and the usos are the people that we are going up against so it was a diss track on the usos and the new day and why we are so amazing and why we are the smackdown tag team champions that is something that we went uh that's going above and beyond that is not something that is asked of you for SmackDown on Fox or whether if you're on Raw yeah. on USA, that is something that we went and said, we can do this. Got Another it. thing John Morrison and I did, we did a trailer. Uh, we did a rip off of uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which you can see on WWE's YouTube page. Uh, we literally did, uh, wrote, uh, like kind of like directed, uh, you know, had, had a say in all the editing and all the parts. And we did a trailer basically about the story of what we were doing for our match. And so these are the little things, the little nuances that we do. You know, a lot of new uh, WWE superstars that are coming up into WWE always ask me advice. I go, listen, you need to find every single avenue, every tool that WWE has, you need to utilize those tools. Mm. And okay. sometimes people aren't going to ask this of you. It's your job to go out there and do the best possible thing you possibly can to get noticed. Got to get it. talked about. And that's what John Morrison and I are doing right now. What I about, mean, even with 14 years, 15 years in WWE, I'm still doing it to this day. What about physicality? Y'all y'all are in great shape. Mm -hmm. And then, so what does your workout routine look like? So I have, so uh, as of like about a, almost a year ago, I would say, um, I, my body wasn't where it was, it, 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 it was at, like, I'm, I'm, cl I'm coming close to 40 and like I've, I've never uh, been injured per se in WWE where, you know, I had to take a long time, a period out, you know, maybe one week here, one week there, but I've never been gone for so long from WWE. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm able to do that while keeping, you know, while traveling how WWE, you know, before the whole uh, thing that is going on right now, you know, WWE, we would travel every single week to so many different cities. Like, how do you keep your body in shape? How do you keep your meals correct? Yeah, so yeah. I hired a chef that basically got me gluten-free, dairy-free. Uh, and then I hired a, uh, a trainer to get me in shape. Because I don't like going to the gym. As a matter of fact, I hate the gym. But <laughs> wow. I know that, like I was saying before, you need tools 
to get everything that, that, that you want. And if I want to be WWE champion, I have to look like a champion, I have to present myself like a champion. Right. And I have to be able to withstand anything in that WWE ring. So I have a trainer that understands that I'm not 25 anymore, that I'm 39, that I need to be, that I need to train for what I'm doing and it needs to be functional. So I, I basically have, you know, kind of done that.